This is my Dual AZ solar tracking system. I made this project to capture a 360 degree rotation on the horizontal axis and 180 degree rotation on the vertical axis. While I co-worked on this project with my friend Kevin, we are building simultaneously a conditioned system that will be powered from the recharge energy of the solar panel. The air condition system is designed to provide a cold and humid temperature which is automatically preset by the IoT program microcontroller. I worked with a great team here at Clinton Innovation Center to bring these two projects to life and in this video I'm going to show you how our solar tracking system works coupled with our handmade air conditioner system. I will take you through the processes that we took to make this build as well as the experiences we gathered while assembling this project. This is Clinton Innovation Center and from here, advanced engineering processes such as CAD, CAM and many more services are rendered. Over time, I as a developer have gotten great and effective resources in developing some of the embedded systems which I publish and you are invited and free to visit them. I will share the details at the end of the video. To kick off these two projects, we went to local pass dealers here in my city to learn about how air condition system works as well as survey some parts that we can use to build a low energy driven air condition system. Here we'll give you hot air and here we'll give you preset cold air. You mean here? No, no, no. While the engine is running, here we'll give you cold air. Okay, so just like we yeah, just like the air vent here, it sucks air from here, and if you put your hand here, not deeper, not deeper into it, you will get and observe the sucked okay. air. With all the relevant lessons that we got here, we picked up the internal fan for our AC system. Next, we started our fabrication for the solar tracker with a roadside weather. All was going okay. But I realized that the man doesn't understand the concept that we tried to explain to him as to how we intend developing this project. Even though he affirmed that he can deliver a design projection while I gave him the sketch for a project. Anyways, I tried making slight input to the fabrication part to ensure the progress of this project. Moving forward on the fabrication, I transferred the job from the roadside weather to the staff at Clinton Innovation Center. And Mr. Kinsley will be the man to make necessary changes on the assembly. Mr. Kinsley finally assembled the tracker and with his input, we came up with a screw-based pulley system to turn the vertical axis around 180 degrees. After completing the whole adjustment, he applied a spray paint on the tracker and with that, the solar tracker system is 50% completed. Next, we started our development for the AC system. I wanted a wooden frame to hold in shape the fan and the cold block chamber. And to do that, I met up with a carpenter in my area to set up a frame for me. I gave him the dimensions that I need and as such, work started. First thing on the lace is wood cutting. Next, smoothening and plain job. I thought also of switching from embedded system to carpentry, but that didn't work out so well for me. This one a chisel. Hmm? Is it chisel? Is it the name? Jackson. Okay, Jackson. Next in line is the assembly. Finally, everything is coming together for the casing of the AC system. James, whom you must have known, designed the idea I shared with him for the casing and he had the laser cutter system cut into shape the design. And frame? Uh, we can laser cut something and put here. So it becomes like a frame. Uh, uh, yes, absolutely. I will still use something like a net or something just to hold in between. So that's just the whole plan. Back at my space, I started coupling just as I'm ready to start the electronic design for this project. I applied the white spray to the casing and Kevin helped me out to complete the woodwork. 
I noted that openings that I will need to allow inflow of ice vapor onto the suction vent of the AC system. Kevin cut out this space just as I have them looking just like this. With this done, I now have the AC system well set up. I soldered the electronics for both the solar tracker and the AC system and with my programming, I'm now ready to complete the whole project. I connected the electronics to the framework and ran the control test on the AC system and the result was just as I wanted it. With the basic assembly fully set, I together with Kevin returned back to CIC. We set up the solar tracker and the air conditioner system in order to fine tune them and have the two systems integrated. Kevin worked closely on the solar tracking system while I worked on the AC system. Starting off with the solar tracking project, James printed the casing for the stepper motor and also the connecting shaft for both the vertical stepper motor and the horizontal stepper motor. With all this in place, we started full test on the stepper motor turning, no? related to the sun intensity. Okay, this is the one currently turning. Completing this test, Kevin and Mr. Kinsley connected the vertical stepper motor just as Kevin powered the electronics. The unused screw part was cut out and now the motor can freely move. Next, I assisted Mr. Kinsley to tighten the solar panel onto the base and with that done, we are now ready to test the first motion which is on the vertical axis. Bro. Uploading the code, we encountered a slight problem. The panel reaching its lowest point couldn't go any further since there is no sensor as a feedback for its position. The panel keeps on hitting the wall as it tries to keep moving down. We have a made slight adjustment to the code as we have the panel turning upwards. To return the panel down to the opposite side, we uploaded another code and once this is done, the system begins turning down. With this part settled, we started working to install the stepper motor for the horizontal axis. Mr. Kinsley cut out some parts to enable him to install the base for the second motor. Setting up the base to alignment, the work is getting almost done. The base finally taking its shape, Mr. Kinsley had it booted as to make it easier for me to lose it if need be. With everything coming together, I loosened up the motor to perfect its position. Connecting it to the adjusted code that I wrote, I now made it easy to use a push button to control its direction. With that done, I tightened back the motor back to its base for final test. Triggering the standard circuit, the motor started turning on its horizontal axis. The rotation is easy on one way, which is from west to east. But triggering it to return to the opposite direction from east to west, that was a bit of a challenge. I made relevant improvement on the system and this time the resistance was low. Next, I switched the horizontal axis stepper motor to the vertical axis stepper motor. Testing it, the 180 degree base still showed its perfect alignment, unlike what I have for the 360 degree. To complete this build, I changed the button trigger to the LODR sensor, which will monitor the sun intensity and makes necessary trigger to the two-stepper motor. With my new setup, I started my test. The system was working just fine and I'm glad about it. With these results, I'm now ready to complete the project. Now, it's time to test the AC system. Just as you can see, the AC was giving reasonable amount of breeze which will relatively turn to ice and humid air once we add our dry ice into the internal flux. The buzzing alarm was as a result of the increase in surrounding temperature just as I programmed it. 
Once the surrounding temperature increases, the system will trigger the internal fan of the system. I tested the mounted solar panel of the system and the result was just perfect as I wanted it. There are a lot that I realized from the challenge that we had on this project. The stepper motor that we used for 360 degree motion wasn't so powerful to carry the whole load which include the solar panel and the other stepper motor. My friend Doyeka, who you will know from Symbiotic Technology YouTube channel, suggested that I should use a higher rating of stepper motor to which I will have this load being carried properly and for me, I completely agree with him. He was also of great help to me as I transported this project to Benin City here in Nigeria where this project was proposed to be used for demonstration. Overall, it's a great experience and a whole lot to learn while I build upon this project. I'm grateful for the input of my co-developers ranging from Kevin, the weather, Mr. Kinsley, James, the carpenter, Oyeka, and many others whom their services weren't fully recorded. It's a great asset to have these great minds as your friend, and like always, I'm going to share their social media platform on the video description. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click the bell icon in order to get personally notified when I make upload on the modifications I wish to make on this project. You can find all the relevant design information for this project on the video description. Thanks for watching this video and I will see you in the next project. Do have a blissful day.